Okay, so I have to say I'm considerably unimpressed with the instructions that YS has provided for timing this engine. For such a high precision, high quality engine to have such ambiguous instructions is totally ridiculous. Anyway, let me show you what I have done right now. I'm hoping for clarification that it's right, but what I've done is I've managed to piston top dead center timing dot at the top in line with the push rods. None of this slightly to the left crap. I've got it so it's in line with the push rods. That makes the most sense to me. Now if that turns out to be wrong then I'll go changing it but for now this is how it's going to be. So I've taken the original o-ring off the timing cover and I'm about to open up part number YS0660 and reinstall a new o-ring. This uh, ring looks like it's, you can see it. <clears throat> see the difference there. Old, new, somewhat stretched out. Let me install this. There we go. And with my timing gear set, Pop this cover in place and install our screws. Alright, so that's done. Okay, I've got my the old fuel regulator parts here. Here's that plunger. Actually, I don't have the little stopper, but that's okay. So I'm going to start opening up these new parts. This is the plunger assembly. We'll get this regulator put together. These screws can go over here, that diaphragm. That can go over there. We're going to use that. So here's my new plunger. I don't really want to zoom in too tight because <clears throat> you may kind of miss some stuff there. Let's see here. First, I need to get this. Wow, look at that. I just went to try and roll that o ring off there and it just kind of blew apart on me. So since I've got a new one, I don't care now because it's destroyed. Yeah, that O-ring was way in need of replacing. Let's get our adjustment, O-ring adjusting, or O-ring for the adjustment screw out. I should do this or not, but I'm going to. I'm going to put just a drop of oil on there just to kind of help lube this up a little bit. O-ring install. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me, the spring sits in there like that with the large portion of the spring facing downward. Now this plunger just pulls apart. Now I insert this to the bottom of the regulator, gently grab the top of this plunger and place it on Attempt to place it on. It looks like it's on. 
pretty delicate little operation there. Wish I could get my finger down there to. I don't want to keep touching that with tweezers, but yeah, it's in place. Let's see if I can see some movement here. Yep, just a hair movement. That's probably all there's required. So now what we do is I'm going to put it like this. I'll put the regulator on top. And gently try and start screwing this thing in place. <coughs> Making sure that I don't cross thread it. And I'm just going to rotate that till it's flush. Okay, so now I can see a little bit of movement there. And that seems right. So the next thing, I know this is the old diaphragm. The next thing would be to get that on, on there. So let's uh, move this stuff out of the way. Let me bring my crankcase over here. Now I think what I want to do is I want to put the gasket on, drop that new diaphragm on, and then just gently place that. That's the plan. Now let's see how well I can execute that plan. The silicon diaphragm is not going to want to come out of this bag. Okay, there's that. I need to open my bag of gaskets, pull my regulator gasket out. Regulator gasket. So it looks like it goes like that. And when the regulator goes on, this little nipple here goes forward. So it's going to go just like that. So what I want to do here, I normally do this, but man, I don't know. Put just a tiny bit of oil on this just to maybe kind of help keep that gasket from wanting to move around on me. Just a hair. I don't know, it seems like it's kind of curled. Now, with my fingers wiped dry, I'm going to drop this diaphragm right there. Try to center it the best I can. <coughs> now, put this in place. Of course, it would be so much better if I actually had the right hex driver out ready for this operation. So, there you have it. That should be should be proper fuel regular regulator reinstallation. So that part is now complete also.